Angle theta in standard position has tan theta equals root 5, with cos theta less than 0. Find the exact value of sine theta. Also find the value of theta rounded off to the nearest tenth of a degree. First, determine which quadrant the terminal arm is in based on the signs of the trigonometric ratios. We can use the definitions for the trig ratios for angles in standard position. Sine theta equals y over r, cos theta equals x over r, and tan theta equals y over x. Based on these definitions, sine theta will be positive in quadrant 1 and 2, whereas it will be negative in quadrants 3 and 4. Note this is because the y-coordinate is positive in quadrants 1 and 2 and negative in quadrants 3 and 4. For cosine theta, it will be positive in quadrant 1, negative in quadrant 2, or x is negative, also negative in quadrant 3, and positive in quadrant 4, since x is positive in quadrant 4. For tan theta, in quadrant 1, it will be positive, quadrant 2, negative, quadrant 3, positive, in this case both y and x are negative, so the negatives cancel out to give a positive. And tan theta will be negative in quadrant 4. Note that all trigonometric ratios are positive in quadrant 1. Only sine is positive in quadrant 2. Tangent's positive in quadrant 3. And only cosine is positive in quadrant 4. Note these spell out C, A, S, T, going around counterclockwise, starting from quadrant 4. We can also remember using all students take calculus. We can then use the definition of tangent and the determined quadrants to find the coordinates, x, y, of a point on the terminal arm. We can use Pythagorean theorem then to calculate r. x squared plus y squared equals r squared. Note that the r must be positive so we will ignore the negative result for r. We can then use the definition of sine to express sine theta We'll use values for y and r. We'll then use inverse tangent to calculate the reference angle and then determine the angle theta based on the quadrant that the terminal arm is in. First of all, tan theta is greater than zero and cosine of theta is less than zero. This corresponds to an angle in quadrant 3. Tan theta equals root 5. Recall that tan theta is equal to y over x. This corresponds then to negative root 5 over negative 1 since we know that it's in quadrant 3 so both x and y must be negative. x then is equal to negative 1 y is equal to negative root 5, we can then calculate r using Pythagorean theorem, the square root of negative 1 squared plus negative root 5 squared. This gives a result of r equals root 6. We can now calculate for sine theta. Sine theta equals y over r. We simply plug in negative root 5 for y and root 6. For r. Rationalizing the denominator by multiplying top and bottom by root 6, we get our final result of sine theta equals negative root 30 over 6. Now to figure out angle theta, first find the reference angle, taking the inverse tangent of root 5. 
This gives a reference angle of 65.9 degrees. In this case, we have an angle in quadrant 3, so theta will be 180 degrees plus the reference angle, giving theta equals 245.9 degrees.